Hey guys, Berman here, and I'm going to show you how to do the vector blur. Uh, a couple months ago, I did make a tutorial on how to do it already in Sony Vegas, but that was with no plugins, and that was with Min and Max, and now I'm just going to show you uh, how to do it with plugins. You're going to need New Blue Light Effects Glow Pro, and I'm just going to go ahead and sync up right where he shoots, make this a real fast tutorial. So, you know, let's say you want the vector to start here, so I'm just going to split the clip. You can move the audio by uh, pressing U on the clips, and you're going to want to disable recycle. Anyways, um, so we want the vector to be here, and let's say we want it, you know, we have Twixer and all that on, so we want it to end up there. And the reason why I split it is so it's easier to keyframe. So what I use is, uh, you can mess with the settings, but I just use watercolor. Because you can already see it looks pretty nice, it's not too much. And the vector blur um, does work differently in uh, lighting, so it tends to work better with bright, brighter maps. But you can mess with liquify to see like how much you want. You know, you can even reverse it to get some kind of weird effect. So let's say we want it like that. So we're going to want to animate it. And the whole reason why I split it is the first frame is where we want it to start, and then you can just slide all the way over to the last frame where you wanted it to end. And then you're just going to go here to liquefy and go to zero. Actually, I think you could do reset to none if it's in here. Yeah, you can. So you can just go reset to none to where none of it's on. And then you'll see. It has the vector blur, you know, it's just kind of reversed one, and then it's going to slowly come back in. And that's really it, guys. Um, fast tutorial, but uh, if you guys could leave a like, that'd be great. And that's it. Peace.